Pacers are on the track and parading to the post. These are Stallions and Geldings racing one mile. Purse of $1,800 without the six horse. The six again is out. Post time in uh, 10 minutes. Here is the one horse blast from past. Told by Raymond and Barbara Schmidt of Findlay. Jim Shelton trains and drives. Just leaving the paddock area, the two tramp lock. Leased by Richard Smith of Lebanon. Roy Smith, the uh, trainer. Terry Groves driving. Three HRs playful. Owned by Molly Bush and Kurt Scott Mogan. And Jim Woodward of Ohio. Scott Mogan trains and drives. The four bicycle P. Leased by Robert Smoko of Ohio. Ron Stack trains. Eric Lunford getting the call. The five, Mercer Lane Sam, owned and trained by Alex Spence Jr. of Grove City with Mike Wilder. The six is Scratch, the seven, Yasker. Oh, by Ed and Dorothy Gear of Denver, Colorado. Jim Arledge Jr. trains Dave Miller in the bike. The eight, Uncle Robert, owned by Ted Bottle, Mary Bach, and Doug Bottom of Washington Courthouse. Gene Bach in the, rather, is the uh, trainer. Keith Haynes is in the sulky. Wouldn't play show perfect a trifecta wagering eight minutes Hans now. and Gildings lining up and moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off and blast from pass, firing quickly from off the pylons for the lead. From the middle of the track, Mercer Lane Sam looking for the garden spot trip. He'll find it here. It's a big gap, some five lengths now to the outside comes Yasker. He settles in third at the bill and fourth is Traplock around the first turn. Off stride goes Yasker and the seven is on a break here as they approach the first quarter. Now the inside eight charge playful takes the fourth spot on the inside five bicycle P. He's followed a sixth by Uncle Robert and the trailer recovering from that break, Yasker. The opening quarter, 28 seconds as they come to the stretch. Blast from pass, cruising along comfortably here. He's up by two with Mercer Lane, Sam, a patient a second, and still a gap of some five to Traplock, who is pacing third. HR's playful is also gapping slightly fourth. And then there's a gap of three lengths on the inside. The bicycle P followed by Uncle Robert and Yasker trails. A bit strung out here. They're in straight alignment as they reach the half. 57 seconds. And Blast from Pass continues the brisk pace here as they make the turn to the back stretch. Mercer Lane Sam is biding his time patiently. On the inside, a trap lock is now third and closing the gap nicely in front of him. Here comes Bicycle P. Pedaling hard on the outside was fifth. Now fourth. Now third. And Bicycle P picking off this field one by one. He's now second on the outside as they reach the three-quarter mile marker. Three Quarters one twenty six and three, and blast from past has led the entire mile. Bicycle P will drop down in for a quick breather here, as they move to the top of the stretch with now less than an eighth of a mile ago, and. Down the stretch they come, and Shelton urging Blast from past on, looking to wire here, and he's responding nicely. On the outside, Bicycle P setting chase second, but the track getting shorter here as Blast from past. Outside, Bicycle P one last try. Blast from past hangs on. Bicycle P second, eight charge playful, finishing third. Unofficial winner on the board, not the one horse blast from pass. Second number four, Bicycle P. Third number three, HR's Playful. One, four, three, remaining unofficial.
Stepping trackside into the winner's circle, winner of the second, the one blast from past, a four-year-old son of Kim Tastic from the Falcon Elmhurst mare, Romeo Falcon. Well, by Raymond and Barbara Schmidt of Finlay, Jim Shelton trains and drives. Blast from past, gate to wire here this evening in record time for his third win of the season, 157 and one fifth. The second race is now official with a $2 Perfecta 1-4 paying $27.40, $27.40. The $2 Trifecta 1-4, $3, $83.40, $83.40.